Hey guys, uh, does your um, storage area for your resin coasters look anything like mine? <laughs> I thought, no, nah, there's got to be a better way. Like, I don't want to be piling things on top of each other if they're not quite set yet, you know, cured, because they'll stick. So I got a delivery today while I was doing my pour and ta-da, look what I got. So that's my hand there, so you can see the size of them. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten drawers, and I've got two of them. So, what I thought I would do is because they're only shallow, you see. There you go. They're only shallow, so um, because you know you you want to put your coasters in. You want to lay your coasters flat, don't you, so that um, they can cure. You don't want to stack them on top of each other because, you know, they'll stick. So I thought, what can I get that's going to fit six coasters? So I had to shop around a little bit because some of them, you know, were too small this way or they were too short this way and I wanted to fit six. So, and then they just store away nicely because sometimes, like these guys here, some of the resins... Um, you know, the ones that maybe aren't heat resistant, like, see that? You can push on it with your nail. I did these, like, I don't know, over a month, a month ago. Some resins are just soft, and um, they were sitting on top of each other, and they were sticking. They will need a top coat, these, because, yeah, I need to put a heat resistant top coat on them. But look, I can put everything, oh, wrong one. I can put everything in here. Well, they cure, and if you've only got a set of four, that's okay. You can put two there, and then the other two can just go in the next one with another set of four. Um, so, and then the ones that have already cured and are able to stack, you know, they can just go in here like that on top of each other. So I thought, oh, brilliant. So now I just have to um, start filling them up. But yeah, great idea. I love them. They're not going to stay there. I'm going to put them over here. I'm going to sit them up here on my on my shelf, and they can sit next to my <laughs> my little um what do you call that plaque from YouTube. <laughs> so there they are. They're going to sit up there, so I can um, get everything up off my shelf into handy storage. Um, I got they're called literally they are called very handy no very useful storage boxes i think that's the name of them so there's all different sizes different number of drawers um i actually had to ring the company because the exterior size was smaller than the internal size like it gave internal drawer size um, and then but the external measurements were smaller and i thought that's not right and i didn't want to order them without knowing so i had to ring the company um, i got these from a school supply place and um yeah they came pretty quickly they took Three days I think so yeah very happy I'm gonna go and get them all sorted so see you soon okay guys welcome back it's resin time now look what I've got I got these from um, Amazon I got quite a few things because you know if you're using Amazon Prime well if you're in Australia if you're using Amazon Prime if you spend a certain amount like $49 you get free shipping so I bought this and it wasn't $49, so I bought a few more things and it still wasn't at $49, so I bought a few more things and, you know, to get free shipping. But anyway, so it comes with one, two, three, four, five, which is a bit odd because like who does five coasters? You do four or you do six. Now it's got, they've got this raised like petal -y, well not petal, what are those things called? Stamens in the inside of the flowers? I think they're stamens. Um, and then little dots so today I'm gonna do the I'm gonna go for the big one and um, what I've decided to do is paint or brush on I guess these little lines the stamens is that what you call them I don't know in gold mica and the little dots as well because those little dots are raised as well and then I want to turn it into a bowl so this design here, the gold, you're going to be able to see on this side, aren't you? So once you pour resin over the top, it's going to hide all these. 
and I want that showing. So there's no point me doing this with the bowl. Like when I, what, I mean, I won't leave it in there, but you know how you make a bowl um, and then you take it out and you're only going to be able to see the, the top, like it's going to be covered. You know what I mean? Like these bits on the other side, you won't be able to see because it'll be covered in the top coat of resin. So what I need to do is I need to be able to take, when it's, you know, set but not hard yet, take it out of the mold drape it over something like the bowl okay so that when no no i need to oh, this has been doing my head in i need to take it out of the mold and lay it um face down yes no Oh my gosh, now I'm still, I'm still, oh, I need to lay it down like that. So that, um, anyway, I need to, I need to, I'll still have to work it out because I want these showing, you know, the gold showing. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And um, I don't know whether or not the resin will stick to my bowl. Um, I don't want, it's going to have to go that way. I don't want the um, I don't want to put plastic on it because when I peel the plastic off the inside, like of this of, of the resin, um, it might have like lines on the plastic and it's going to be the inside of the bowl. So I don't want that showing. So I have got another idea of what I'm going to do, and um, I'll show you that shortly. So I'm going to get organised and um, get my mic out. I just wanted to have a little chat to you about what I was doing, even though I can't explain it. <laughs> very well i'm just gonna have to wait until i actually take the resin out of the mold and then lay it because i can't really get my head around how it's going to sit because it's still in the mold right anyway i'll see you soon the other thing i need to decide while i've got you here is which gold to use because i'm going to do my edges in this uh gold by deco color Okay, so let's just move that for a minute. So this is the gold that I want to use. That's it there, nice and nice and shimmery. So Merin, like everyone says Merin gold is, is lovely, which it is, but I don't know, it doesn't really look like gold it's more of a um, it's more of a bronzy color that's the Merin and then this one's a really pretty gold you can see the difference I guess it depends what it's more like a rose gold or a bronze and then this one's a really it says brilliant gold this is that one doesn't really work the best on a piece of paper, I'm afraid. It's that one. And then there's Archery Creations, which is rich gold. I think this is more of a metal powder. I don't know if it'll work the same as a mica powder. But that's it there. So... Hmm, let's have a little look. Let's come up closer and have a little, have a little peekaboo. They're all, all pretty shiny. Um, the Merin's out, doesn't match. So it's between these two um, I'm a bit concerned that this one this one on the end here it's a metal powder instead of a mica powder so I'm just not sure if it's going to work the same way so I think to be safe I'm going to go with with that one all right so we'll do that one yeah I'm going to go find a brush 
I'm a bit nervous about this. I've never done this before. I did go over the whole thing with a piece of masking tape just to pick up any dust and fluff. Look at all that. Um, yeah, so just to make sure it's nice and clean. I've got myself a little brush. It's, um, must have, I don't know what I've used on it, but it's quite firm. I've seen people use like a silicone brush, but this is the only little one I've got. So maybe it'll work to my advantage that it's maybe got something stuck on it and yeah not not the best but anyway let's let's see how I go I guess that's what you do you just dip that in there is that all you do what about the little bits that fall off the edge what do you do with those does that matter or do you have to maybe they can just get like blown off later or will I, if I blow them, will I blow the mica powder off the actual little petally thing? I don't know. Like I said, I've never done this before. I should have started like on one of the little ones, hey, the coasters. All right, so that's done. Now what happens if I blow it? Mm, see, that's not good because it's like smeared. Now how do I clean that off? I'm going to have to just be more careful, aren't I? Um, let's try oh, a baby wipe. No, maybe not. Uh, probably a cotton bud, like an earbud maybe. Because, I mean, I can get in there with this one, but if I spill in between like those, it's going to be tricky to get out, isn't it? So, A, I have to be just really careful not to. Or, yeah, look, that's working. That is working, so maybe maybe that's an option. Or I can just be a little bit more careful. Right, one down. One million to go. <laughs> I'm going to put you on fast forward. I'm going to sit down, I'm going to grab a chair, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to take my time and I'm going to do this. So I will see you when it's done. All done you know I was worried about cleaning off those gold streaks after I blew it I was worried about cleaning them off here and then I thought to myself you silly woman you're not even gonna see them because they're lower than like down there is lower than these pieces so whatever's on there on the mold is going to get covered in resin and then the top is just going to be clean resin instead of you know the dirty resin from the bottom anyway now the other thing it was a bit of a dilemma because I want to use the bottom of this mold I can't just do like a normal pour because you know when you do a normal pour the front's really pretty and then other side it's kind of just like maybe blobby so because I want to use this side to make my bowl I'm doing it a little bit different so what I'm doing is I'm just going with black because I thought why not black and gold is just it in a bit on a stick isn't it so black over the gold the edges I'm going to do clear resin and then I'm going to paint the edges in gold so very plain gold black clear I've got my resin it's the Barnes Clarity and I want it nice and clear because I'm having the clear edges so I don't want a really thick bubbly resin the black um, I thought it would be nice to have a little bit of a shimmer to it so I've gone with this one the black pearl from Lores. rather than just a plain pigment paste I thought it might be nice to have that little bit of a shimmer to it so the blacks only going to be like that much need a lot more clear so let's just start 
you can see it's it's really clear certainly is a clarity so I'll see how much I need oh when I poured it I just made it bubbles when I poured it I should have poured it down the side maybe anyway they'll they'll torch out pretty easily so um, I, and again I didn't know how much resin to make up if I had any sense I would have like filled the mold with water beforehand and see how much I used but I don't want to use this full thickness like depth it's pretty deep probably only use maybe two-thirds of it so let's put some black in here let's put a little bit first because again I'm not sure like if I want it really opaque or whether I want it maybe a little bit uh, transparent I'm probably probably do want it quite opaque don't I yeah just so that it will the gold will really pop I'm going to take it over here and stir it away from my mold in case any mica powder flies on top of my little gold pieces I have to remember to slow down I'm stirring it like I'm stirring my acrylic paint and there's some got some blobs of mica in there I should put a little bit of mica in uh, sorry put my mica in with a little bit of resin mix it up to form a paste and then add more resin I keep saying that and I keep forgetting to do it do you think it'll look nice with a bit more clarity to it and a bit more transparency to it I'm not sure how much I need I've got I mean I've still got that resin left in there so let's do the let's do the clear first just around the outside and then I know that I've got enough clear I'll just run out you see so I need a little bit more Don't want it to creep too much over my gold. I'll put the put the black in now before it creeps too much. Oh, I haven't got a paper towel out. All right, here we go. Just gonna pour it in the center and let it spill out. Okay, so I know that's not enough so let's make up some more black this is why I just did it slowly little bit by little bit I'll keep some of that in case I need some more um, clear I'll just do one scoop since I've only got a little half a cup there oh look at it, it's just encroaching over all that gold And depending on what it looks like I wasn't sure whether I should like drag a stick through the black I'm not sure we'll see what it looks like when I'm done I may get a, a pretty little effect on the edges just without doing anything and then I'll show you what I've decided to do once I'm going to turn this over so I've done bowls with this clarity before so I know how long I need to leave it so I'll just go back and check my records I can't remember off the top of my head but I will check let's put that there okay I don't want to put too too much in um, Getting a wipe and I can clean up my mess straight away very handy these silicon mats to pour on all right now let's just move the black away a little bit from there
Now, I'm really not sure, you guys. I wasn't, yeah, I hadn't thought that far ahead as to what I would do with this. I really hadn't. Let me put the lid on my black. I don't need that anymore. Put that there so that you can see what I've used. All right, now I've got a little bit of resin left. Um, how deep are we? Probably only halfway. Let's torch anyway. Now with these El Cheapo silicone molds, you have to be really, really careful with your torching. Um, they because they stick stick really easily. Doesn't look as if I've mixed my with some mica powder little dots sitting there. Alright, well that doesn't look all that attractive, does it? Um hmm. Put a little bit more here. I think I will need to add some kind of effect to it, just so that it looks looks prettier. But I do want to keep the clear um, edges. I just think that would look pretty. Oh, I don't know what to do, you guys. I don't want to ruin it, but I just want to do something to it. If I drag, how about if I drag a little bit of black? Because at the moment it just looks a bit boring, doesn't it? All right, let's try it. Uh, hang on, I need to get a paper towel to wipe my stick. I hadn't really thought that far. I just thought oh, I'll pour the black in, have some clear uh, edges, and then see what happens. I just kind of thought the black would move out a bit, but it's the colour from the outside that moves in, isn't it? Just going to meet up to each of those. Might have to go sort of up and over, I think. Oh, but now I'm getting a blob. Oh dear. Okay, that's better. More of a wisp like that. That's better. All right, you are going to have to go. I need to get that bit out. How am I going to get that out? Hang on, I'm going to get a spoon and get that little piece out. Really didn't think this through, did I, guys? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. That didn't work. How do I get that out if I don't want it there? I don't. It's just going to have to be there. Can I take it out? No. No. Okay. Let me wipe my spoon. Right. Uh, where's my stick? Here. No? Here. There's my stick. That one hasn't really got very far to go. Okay, um, yeah, not loving it, you guys, not loving it. Now what do I do? Mm, I don't know what to do now. Um, okay, um, all right, I'm going to blend that. I'm going to push the black in there. Put 
push the black out. Those couple of little wispy bits just weren't enough, were they? Let's pull them out again. So all the way around and hopefully when the black kind of pulls back into the center because the outside always wants to pull back in maybe we'll get a pretty little pattern I don't know yeah like I said I really didn't think about how it was going to work I just wanted to have some clear on the edges that's all I knew um, and then the black in the center on top of the gold is all I had thought about. <laughs> but if you've got any ideas, feel free, because I can do this again. I mean, it was hard work, but I can do it again. All right, let's not go overboard. Let's just leave that. What happens if I take that through? No, let's just leave it. Let's just see what happens, um, whether or not these stay wispy like this um, or if they change or I actually don't mind that wispiness. I, I don't mind that at all. All right, stop fiddling with it, woman. That's because these don't go as far up as those ones. That's why. See, these ones up here are touching. Let's make sure that they're all... far enough okay right up it is it's quarter to 11 in the morning um i'll have a little look at my my little black book and see how long i left the resin uh, last time oh, i've got some clear left Oh, that's enough to do a flower. Maybe I can do a bit of a flower. That's what, no. There's a hundred mils left. Maybe. All right, so I don't know what time I stopped stirring it though. I'll have to have a look back and see how long I've been on this video and then I'll know how long the resin's been sitting in there for and how long I need to let it wait to make a 3D flower because I might as well, hey. Might as well use it up. Right, I'm going to um, torch very lightly again. Probably not even at all. Now, where's my cover? Ah, oh, over here. My plastic lid. Is that going to fit? Is it going to fit? No, it's not. Oh, I'll look at matter. If it gets a couple of hairs or something on it, it's not really going to matter because this is the this is the outside that's the outside okay All right um i'll be back i'm gonna just do a little 3d flower thingy <gasps> oh it looks like something out of the adams family like thing or it no thing was the hand wasn't it i don't know some spooky creature oh my gosh i don't know what i'm doing today all right i'll see you soon Hey guys. Oh, it's thundering. <laughs> We're in for a storm. I don't know if you can hear it. Now, this is still really quite soft. I can't, it's been four hours. I can't ply it away from the sides. I'm wondering if it's taking longer to cure because it's so thin. Like when I pour thicker, it seems to cure a lot faster. But it's only, these are only half full, so hopefully it's okay. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to go with the bowl idea. I know I said to you I had another idea, but I'm going to try with the bowl. And I'm going to save the other idea for another time. So um, you know how I want the underneath this side to be the inside of the bowl? So what I need to do is put that. 
that like so and I'm hoping that it's going to be soft enough that it will just fall down I hope uh, let me move it over a bit this way so you can see I'm just walking around the bench so I can see this is almost touching but this is still quite high so I'm just going to move it over don't know if it's going to bend no oh, it is look I'm just gonna have to I'll just push on it it should should be fine and I'm just gonna measure like from there to there on all of them and make sure that I've got equal amounts I don't really want to touch the top because it's I mean I can touch it but I don't want to like push on it um, because I will get fingerprints so I'm pushing but I'm pushing the um, Oh, I could do that and put some tape on it, couldn't I? Let me do that. I was going to measure, but if I just push them all down, that's actually this one's actually touching the board now. I can. Oh, I'm going to put that there, and that's actually wedged in. That one. Okay, that's not touching yet. So I need to move this over a little bit more. I'm just going to move over a little bit more until it's touching my board and I know that they're all equal so just going to have a little play around with it and I'm going to grab my tape my masking tape and what I'm going to do is I'll do it over here so that you can see. Now that one is almost touching, not quite. That one's not quite touching the board either, as in my silicon mat here. Not quite, not quite, not quite. Okay, so it's, they're very, very similar. They're all very similar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some tape there just touching the silicone I don't want to touch the actual resin and I'm going to see if I can get it to stay if it works that'll be a good idea hey because I can just touch the end of that silicone mold there nope it's not going to stay okay um, what else can I do actually let's let's try it I'm grabbing the side of it and what about if I stick it to the bowl how about we do that still I'm not touching the resin it's just sitting on the outside there of the mold and I've got that stuck to the actual because it doesn't want to the tape doesn't want to stick to the silicone but I've actually got it <laughs> Sorry. someone at the door It was my son Shane. <laughs> he came to pick up um, his wife. Well, I can say that now. Wife, his wife's birthday present, which I've been hiding in my spare room because it's too big to fit at his house without her seeing it. So this is what I'm going to do. This seems to be working. I'm going to go away, fly. Let me, I'll get you down here next to me so that you can see a bit better. Hang on. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Now you saw I did the other two, but I thought I'll come down here and do it from here so you can see. So you've got a tiny little gap at the bottom there. So basically what I'm doing is just I'm catching that top area of the mould. And I'm going to stick that masking tape underneath onto that bowl and there's a little like there's a little lip there like you can't the tape's not touching the resin you know it's just I've just attached it to the outside of the mold there do you know what I mean and that 
because they see the tape doesn't want to stick to the silicone mat so I've just got it onto the tray and uh, onto the actual um, bowl so hopefully that will work do this one too push that stick that It's working, it's working. Okay. Now, I don't mind about these poking out. I think that looks really nice. I just wanted these petals to be down. Okay. Now, I need to go around the other side and do that one. Hang on one sec. Now, I'm just going to put a bit of extra tape to hold this bit of tape to that bit of tape. Just just an extra bit of security to make sure that the tape doesn't come loose. And I'm sticking that to the metal bowl. Okay. <laughs> I've never done this before, so I hope it works. Let me know if you guys have got this mold. Um, and if you're already if you're not already a member of Pouring Your Heart Out Facebook group, um, feel free to join. And I'd love to see what you've created with this particular mould. Okay. If you've made a bowl, if you've made a tray. Okay, see that sitting. See all these little, these little ones, they don't want to stick at all. So it's just as well they've stuck to the actual bowl itself. So, um, yeah, hopefully that will work. And it should, it should be nice when I, when I unmold it, I hope I've got this right, when I unmold it, as in peel the resin, peel the resin out of this, yes, when it's dry, I'll take the tape off, flip it upside down, and it should be in a bowl shape, shouldn't it? And then I can just hopefully peel that mold off. Cross fingers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to leave it till tomorrow and um, hopefully it dries okay. Yeah, all right, see you then. Good morning. Oh, look. It's set. It's nice and hard. I can't pinch the sides anymore. Let's have a look. Let's get the tape off first. Take that off. Oh, it comes off really nice and easily. So excited to see what it's going to look like. I'm just hoping that, like, the mould will still come off. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> you know, because it's it's been bent and it's upside down. All right, let's take that away. We won't look. We won't look at the middle just yet. All right. Let's see if we can get this out. How do we do that? I'll just loosen it all the way round. These bits here, where it's been bent, is going to be the the trickiest bit. Okay, push that in like that. Oh, look, it's working. It's working. So I'm going to push these bits in like so. Oh, there we go. It's working. Look, we've got a little bit of that transparency there. Now, look, I know it's not ideal, you know, having this. It's it's not what I wanted, but I don't know. I just thought I didn't I didn't plan ahead like for us um, a plan B if if it didn't really work what I was doing. You know, the puddle of black and then the clear. Um. And I was thinking about it last night. Maybe I should have put the black in the middle and then just some clear with um, gold leaf in it. And then the two kind of just like blended together. Do you think that would have been better? So, I mean, this is okay, this look here. It's just yeah, not what I was after. <laughs> but maybe once I've painted the edges with the gold, it might look better, hey? All right, let's take that off. Are we ready? A big reveal. Oh, okay. I didn't think we were going to be able to see these little 
pieces of gold from underneath. Maybe I didn't make it um, opaque enough. Like it's still really pretty, but I just thought it would be like totally black in here. I didn't think see those little bits of gold through there. I didn't think we would see them. Actually, no, it does make sense because that bit that I'm touching was the piece that was on on here, wasn't it? So anything that I did get on on here between the petals um, was going to show up. Yeah. So there we go. Anyway, what do you think? It kind of looks like a um, like a old patina kind of a, a look with the the pale kind of edges, and then this sort of more more of a pale gold it's not a a block gold uh sorry black it's not not um it's not transparent in the middle though but anyway there it is my first attempt um could do with some improvement for sure but let's have a little look and see what it looks like with the the gold edge i'll just do a little bit it's a good size bowl though like for fruit and you can feel that it's textured at that bit there. So this is obviously the first time I'm doing this. I think the next time I won't do I won't do the um the mica powder like I won't dust it in because it it, it is difficult to do. It's very time consuming, and um, then when you blow the excess off, you get it on on these middle bits. So yeah, I don't know that that's the best way to do it so I think next time I'll do it again um, I'll pour and then afterwards I'll come in with my my pen because then I can just like color in the little circles and the the leafy things because they're actually lower like they're indented hear that so they're indented so I think that's probably going to be the better option for me anyway All right let's have a look and see what happens if I I'll just leave it there. I'll just paint this edge. Pretty easy to paint, nice and straight. All the way around. I think the colour match is pretty good too. But yeah, so yeah, learnt a lot from this one. I I don't think that um yeah, dusting it with mica powder is really the, the, the option for me. Oh, this is going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? Getting getting in there. But I wanted to have a go anyway. So, yeah, why not, you know? If you want to have a go, have a go. It's certainly not an ugly piece. It's just wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was expecting that total black base with then these these gold but you can see where my my dust has has drifted drifted dust so anyway there I've done that little bit there I won't do any more because I couldn't wait to see I haven't even had my coffee yet my morning coffee so um, anyway I'll finish that and I'll put it up I'll put it outside so that you can have a little look to see what it looks like finished product but do you like that little bit of transparency that little I see this sort of wispiness here matches this sort of wispiness in here. That's that's what I see. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish it. I have my coffee first. I'm going to finish it, and I'll um I'll show you the finished product shortly. All right, see you soon.